Thank you for joining us again on another Pre-TV program. Charlotte's here. Charlotte, just greet our folk, please. It is so good to be with you today. And we, as always, always are so thankful to the Lord for you. The prayers of God's saints, the Bible says, say avail much. And so we just thank you for holding steadfast in your prayers. And we are grateful that there are a people who are in pursuit of the living God, taking time daily to be able to pray and intercede. And that's really what we're all about. You know, having prayer is so foundational to all of our lives, reading the Word and prayer. We know that this is the foundation of all Christian life and activity. And so we do this simple little program as a offering to the Lord for us to be able to just enter in and persevere and continue to pray. Today we're looking at, again, from 1 Peter chapter 5, this time looking at verses 5 through 7 in the New International Version of the Bible. And it says, in the same way, you who are younger, submit yourselves to your elders. All of you, clothe yourselves with humility towards one another, because God opposes the proud, but he shows favor to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. You know, Charlotte, we have shared about this particular portion of Scripture before, and it is so foundational. But we wanted to take the entire chapter 5 and read all of this in context over these three days and just allow God's Spirit to really minister to our spirits. I know you've got something to share about on this, so I just want to turn it over to you to hear what the Lord put on your heart. True humility comes from really acknowledging God and His majesty and His rulership. That's why these verses, Peter says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Humility doesn't just come naturally. It is something that is born out of the Spirit of God within our lives as we recognize our deep dependency upon the Lord. And so we just want to do this today. Um, these verses are very strong, that God resists the proud. We have a lot of pride in this nation, in America. I can speak for America at least. People who exalt themselves, who are boastful, who are arrogant, we see it every single day. And yet the Word of God says that God resists the proud. And He gives grace. He gives His divine power and favor to the humble. So we just want to come before Him today in utter acknowledgement that we need Him and that He is indeed sovereign over all. You know, Charlotte, it really is an important thing to discern the difference between a sense of certainty and believing the Word of God and having that firmly planted in our hearts, having assurances, speaking confidently, but all of those things must be done in humility. If we're going to please the Lord, we must walk in humility. This is part of the prerequisite of being a believer. It's, it's a manifestation of the fruit of God's Spirit at work in our souls that we shed pride, that we put off arrogance, that we determine that we are going to live in a quiet and a humble state. This pleases the Lord. It gives him the opportunity to be able to work through us. And so we just want to bring this emphasis and bring this as a focus of prayer. So again, today we look at 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 5-7 through 7 in the New International Version of the Bible. And it says, In the same way, you who are younger, submit yourselves to your elders. All of you. 
clothe yourselves with humility towards one another because God opposes the proud, but he shows favor to the humble. Humble yourself, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety upon him because he cares for you. Today, Charlotte, I would just love for you to be able to just launch us into this prayer time, and I know that God's going to give us the ability to pray in agreement, and we invite each and every one of our guests to be able to pray in agreement concerning this as well. Lord Jesus, we think of you today, and we thank you for your example that you were willing to humble yourself and become obedient even to death on the cross. And because of that example of really extreme humility, you who were God, you who left the, the throne room of heaven and came to earth as an infant whose birthday we celebrate in just a few weeks, you have been highly exalted by the Father. You have been given a name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. And Lord, there is a day coming when every knee, every knee, Lord, no matter who it is, no matter how authoritarian they may feel they are in this world. No matter how proud they have been and how much they have snubbed you, Lord, they will bow the knee to you. We all will, Lord. And so we pray, God, that you will keep us in this place of acknowledging our deep dependency on you and humbling ourselves, Lord, to, to become subject to your thoughts and your ways which are so much higher than ours. And so, Lord, we just continue to pray to this end, asking, Father, that you will show us how to clothe ourselves in humility. Lord, we want to do that in actuality, not in some false humility, not pretending. God, we, we know that it takes you to do this in us because our hearts, always go in the sinful pattern of choosing pride. We know this is part of the carnal nature, the sin nature that's at the core of all of our humanity, that which is broken. We want to defend our positions. We want to assert ourselves. But Lord, we're asking that you would show us how to walk in genuine humility that is the clothing of the spirit of the living God over our entire beings. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will aid and assist us this very day as we choose to align with your word once again and we choose to make ourselves men and women who agree with you, Lord, because you oppose the proud and you show grace to the humble. So, Lord, we choose to humble ourselves before you this is a choice that you give for us to make, and we do it gladly, recognizing it pleases you. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. May God bless you as you continue in his word.